I do care. That you were Gemini rising. What we calculated before. But, um. Yeah, and you're Leo. And I guess you as a Gemini. And that's your rising sign. So is as a mine. We both have the same rising sign. And we have, and you're a Leo, right? Yeah. And your moon was in, um, do you remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doing your birth chart. <laughs> do you have a son? What? A son? Yep. A psychic. I'm picking up that you have a son. <laughs> this has nothing to do with astrology, though. <laughs> but I'm looking at her chart, and it's on here now. This is what I'm looking at. What are you doing? Chart recordings. I am. She's a Leo and she's Moon and Leo. Apparently, her mother is a big celebrity fan of her. She treats her like a celebrity and she thinks love is attention. She, then she that goes. Wow, my mom hates me. Really? Okay, she go. All this shit to me. Oh, your Saturn's a Leo, which means your dad is a fake hypocrite. And, uh, it's the opposite. And he treats you like an inanimate object that you're a beautiful inanimate object. It's the opposite. My mom's like that. Okay, well. And then you have. Uh, well, your mom would be a narcissist. And mo if your moon's in Leo, she's trying to make you a narcissist. And then you become thinking that love is attention and having fun. And if someone's not having fun with you and you're bored with them, you want to kick them out of their life. <laughs> is that you? So true. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah, it's like the question is what's wrong, what's wrong. What's you're loyal to having fun, but not like, I mean, more than a friend, loyal to being a friend. My moon's in Aquarius, so I'm more polarity. I'm more loyal to having a friend. You're more loyal to having the fun and the heart of the event. Because that's Moon and Leo. And then your Mercury's in Virgo, so the way you think you communicate is analytical and stuff like that, and critical, and good shit. And, and serving for others, like, it sounds like you're caring for other people. Your Venus is in Virgo. That's how you relate, you're in a relationship, and what you're looking for in a relationship. Perfection is, you know, your day-to-day -day routine. If you, if you can be with that person day-to-day, -day, that's who. You're loving you with, and they need to... And your Mars is in Cancer, which means that's your willpower and how you get mad. It's your sexual expression, and it's in a weak willpower. It, it, it's a very not strong willpower for, like, um, you know, quitting sweet habits or bad habits or yeah. smoking yeah. or whatever. And and then and then it's... Um, I'd, rather, I'd rather cuddle than have sex, but there's other placements in the charts that have that. And then... Uh, your Saturn is Leo, which means you have opportunities to get married, and op and they need to take it away from you. And maybe your dad wanted to make you get married or teach you about that bullshit. A relationship's really challenging for you as a marriage and a divorce. Have you ever been divorced yet? Divorce. See, it'll give you it'll give you the opportunity to get married, have this perfect Libra relationship, balance, beauty, the needs of others, learning this challenge more than anybody else and your kidneys might be fucked up too because it has challenges for your kidneys it restricts your kidneys on anything that you want to do because of that ruler libra and relationships and marriage back, 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 back after yeah your mars is in cancer that rules the private part <laughs> so your jupiter's in sagittarius which means you're good with um Aiming at uh, traveling and having adventures and learning things, and expanding your mind and being air of the little mermaid, that dumb and considerate bitch. Just moving on to the next learning section, asshole. We're not even loyal. <laughs> 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 but it's there, you know, the, yeah. the expression can be there, you know, as loyalty. But yeah, anyways, your Lilith, okay, your Pluto's in Libra, which means when you hang out to isolate your yourself you do it with somebody else you bring somebody else along with you to isolate yourself to be alone with yeah. yourself you really just always always partner up with somebody that's what that has to do with Pluto and Libra your little if is in Aquarius which means you have multiple orgasms because once you um Leo is the ruler of this um thing which is the um reproduction system Leo rules the sperm that's what it's the sperm symbol and they have multiple orgasms alone, but yours is a little of this in Aquarius, the way the people that don't want to see you do this and do that, and you rebel to be this type of person, this weird, cool, friendly person that knows astrology maybe, but it also has multiple orgasms, not afraid to go outside the coloring box to help somebody or something too, and just yeah. do themselves because they're insane <laughs> for sex or something like an arrogancy. Which is, most Aquarius placements anyways are people who rather be mentally stimulated than have sex. Because it doesn't make it matter, bother them whether they want to have them do it or not. But um, yeah, 
but in little of an Aquarius, the polarity of Leo, most Leos have this place with anyways, and most Aquarius them, so you're stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, and Mars and Cancer would be a gypsy, but I'm, um, if Mercury is in Virgo, so you know how to drive, I suppose. It's at home with itself. I don't know. It's pretty cool. But your Gemini rising could be in Gentiles Pisces. That means you're faced with a Gemini chicken bitch, and you'll be talkative, and you know what I mean? It'll be fun. <laughs> <Right me. laughs> then you have Gentiles Pisces, which, um, provides, um, you evidence of compassion for other people and feelings and stuff and you believe in spirit or something that you want to express for the public's eye or something <laughs> and the chameleon oh that you are you can be chameleon yeah or you could be pisces rising you've been videotaped this yeah, <laughs> oh my god it did not suck I already did your rant, it sucked. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me what's gonna happen. The cool, the cool thing is, is that's fake. The cool thing yeah. is, the cool thing is, is I said that you have a son. I picked up on that. And maybe you have a miscarriage or not. You just go uh, through the heartbreak. You never had that. Okay, because you seem uh, very I'm fertile. You have another good daughter or something? I have a daughter. I'm going through the heartbreak because I don't have my kids right now. Okay, well, let me pick that up on you without you telling me shit. Remember? Oh, that's my why bad. I'm, that's why I'm picking up things. It's cheap when you tell somebody that you... You know what yeah. I mean? So, I was picking up that you have a daughter and she looks a lot like you. And your son is uh, looks like you too. <laughs> but, uh... Um, he's, I don't know which one's younger, I think your son is, but you're, you're taking care of him more, uh, or you, you're, you're, you have extra time with him because the daughter is able to do other mobile things by herself, you know, <laughs> but I think, and she has like a reddish kind of hair, like a reddish brownish auburn hair. Got opposite. Oh, I thought he had blonde hair, but so she's the one with the blonde hair? No, my daughter is half Hispanic. My son oh, has yeah. bright red hair. Bright red hair. Yeah. Because she looks more like Anthem. And <laughs> um, she's Hispanic. She has um, more dark tan, tan skin. Yeah, like Indian skin. And her hair's up to here, though. Yeah. And she has bangs. The last time I seen Bangs and hair up to here, right? Yeah. Bangs and hair up to here. Get in it. <laughs> okay, cool. And the kid does look favorite of you. My son looks With just like me, except for the red hair. Wasn't his hair like blonde first though, mm -hmm. or was he just always the red? Peached. He's got he's got like hair top right here. Yeah. Well, awesome, possum, possum. Um, also, you say, your grandma. You have a grandma that's um <laughs> you two you were taken care of by your your grandma because um is that right? Yeah. You were taking care of your grandma. Like, almost like a Saturn in Pisces. Your Saturn is in Libra, though. We don't know what house it's in, but, like, it could be, like, you really take care of other people and you have to learn forgiveness to your father or something. Because he, he showed you just a love and he was spiritual or some shit. And, like, uh, but, uh, he rather do drugs and take responsibility for you or something like that. Like, he, he, like, that's what, uh, and you might have been in foster care and you might also have to learn forgiveness and compassion to other people, which you're totally right. Awesome. Yes. Um, um, but it also makes you a psychic as well. If, if you ever had an opportunity to be psychic, but you don't think you can be, I think obviously you were, and you already all the see spirits for yourself, and you know this, because I can think that there's this bubble around you that is the spirit is a, uh, it's part of, and then the spirit that is, that's part of you for the spirit to, like, be amazed by some useful light that you have. Because you have this bonus light, and also you're a Leo, double moon in Leo, so... Somebody's gotta be shining. <laughs> I always shine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really cool. Spirits to be attracted to that too. As well. Okay, your hair has the same kind of hair as your daughter. Your daughter has the same kind of hair as you, right? And it's very silky and all that stuff. That's the, the That's texture and everything. It's really pretty. What? You know, romance. What do we do? That's not my business. The end. <laughs> romance. Well, sometimes people need to. I wish somebody were me. Well, I mean, it goes both ways. 
He could come home from whatever, and you could be laying here in a freaking tie or whatever, and, a, and freaking. I will be soon. I got some. You know what I mean? With your hair did or something, and yeah. you're like, "Honey, I got some wine or something like that." Mm-mm. Yeah, that's what he's got. But right. we have done but before. You know what's to fight? You're right. Uh, Nate does have HIV, but you think I fucked him? I, and then he well, lied he to Gary. It. Lied to Gary and said I was trying to sleep. With the quickest way you figured that out is just go get tested because if you slept with him, I don't know. I got tested. Oh, no, I didn't sleep with him. But she was uh, saying that because you don't told her attention. that he got rid of me because I tried to sleep with him. No, bitch. There's only one person I'm attracted to, and that's my man. And he don't believe it. Thank you. I love you. Anyways. I need to woo each other. No. He wooed me every night as long as I'm woo. That's all I am. Yeah, right? That's all I care about as long as you will. Every day. You get your dog stuff.